So in the series of learning programming in C, we are discussing functions in C. In the previous video, we have discussed a function with no argument and no return type with proper program with example. In this video, we will talk about the next category of function that is a function having no argument with return type, right? That we will discuss here with proper program and I will show you practical also, right? And also some uh, you know important points about that thing also we will discuss, right? Whenever we see practical, then I will show you all the important point about that program, right? But before that, I just want to tell you one thing. If you are looking for a great career in software development, then you, then you must think about the aspects like what's trending in the industry, the questions being asked in the interviews, how to improve your code share ranking. So here, an academy brings you a platform where you can get access to weekly shows which you can watch live. And the host of these shows are seven star coders on Codeshare. And working in some of the top companies like LinkedIn, Google, Amazon and having years of experience. So they will be covering the content which would be really helpful for your career. Like in the live episodes, you can ask the tech HR the, the questions being asked in the interview, top questions being asked in the interviews and the industry leaders about the recruitment process in the top startups and MNCs, what is the eligibility criteria and how to apply for them. And you can also get your resume reviewed by the experts. Not only this, you can also participate in mock interviews and you can also learn uh, courses on programming languages, cloud computing, blockchain and crypto, tech aspects of digital marketing, data analytics. And if you want to get some idea about the questions being asked in the top product company interviews, then there is a show for you. In this show, the host will walk through the top interview questions usually asked for the companies like, like uh, Apple, Netflix, Amazon, Google and how to solve them and respond in a way that will help you to crack the job interviews. Here you will also get a chance to come live with the host and you uh, get your query resolved on the spot. So if you are a college student and you are looking for a job in the top product companies then this show is definitely for you. So you can find out the detail of the show and the batch in the link that I'll put in, this, in the description box of this video. And don't forget to use my code JKL10 to get 10% extra discount on your subscription. So now let's get back to the topic. Here we are going to discuss the function which is having what no argument and with return type. What are the function which fall in this category? Suppose I am taking the general syntax is what suppose I am taking a, a name of the function fun no argument no argument so I don't want to pass anything here so better to write down here what void right with the return type here it should be some return type maybe int char float or maybe you no know, pointer right right but here we are not going to you know discuss the, the programs at that level that we will discuss one by one here we will just see the program of you know having returning the data type return type would be either int or float or char that we will discuss here. Maybe the function would return address so the data type should be pointer right. So that also we will discuss one by one all the complicated problems on this thing. So this is what general declaration of the function which is having return type but no argument right. So let us take one example. Same example I am taking sum right. So how to declare return type sum and no argument that is it and here in main return type of main I am taking word you can also take ret, uh, int so at the last of this main you have to write down simply return statement like return in main I am calling this function sum see what difference is there in calling of the function that also we will see sum and no argument I want to pose pass so this is what simple calling of the function but here you have to do something with this calling also why see I am not uh, doing something within this main I am defining this function here then we will discuss so return type is int name is sum nothing I want to pass so here write down some logic see no argument it is passing so here we are going to declare our own variables like like int a b and I am taking sum and suppose from the user I want to ask now which category we are discussing with return type with return means I want this function should return something and something means what it is function of what sum I want to do sum of two numbers so what it should return sum of those numbers. So rather than printing the sum here, 
I want that this function should return the sum where it will return where you are calling this function. So, means it is returning. So, here we are not using that sum using means here we are not printing the sum simply write down what return and what you want to return sum. So, simply write down return sum semicolon that is it. So, now it is returning sum here sum is of I am taking int type. So, if it is returning sum, so definitely here also oh, we have some variable to store that sum or to you know accept that sum from this function right. So, here also whatever it is returning you have to store that sum in some variable. Suppose I am taking a variable s. So, first of all you have to declare this variable s right because I am using that variable. So, that if you do not declare that will give error. So, now the sum is whatever it will return the sum that has been stored in, in this s and now here you can print sum is equal to percentage d and what you will print here s. See if you will print here sum because see sum is equal to a plus b. So, maybe you think that we can directly print here sum it will give error why because the sum is what a variable which is local to this function only. Here I am declaring sum within this function. As soon as control will go out of this out of this scope, the sum would be vanished, destroyed. Like we cannot use a, b, or sum these variables out of this function. So in main, that is why we are taking another variable which is going to store the sum s. So here you have to print s on. So I think here also you can see the difference of, of calling of the function. In the previous case, we are just calling sum and that is it. We are not going to store this, you know, we are we, we have not take any variable s is equal to sum or this kind of thing. Why? Because the sum was not returning anything. If sum will not return anything, so simply here you can print sum. I do not want that this function will return something. So, here only you can print sum and that is it. But here this is returning something, right. So, once control, first of all control will go here int sum one variable has been assigned like in for main some memory has been assigned. So, here we have s here this have some garbage value. So, now s is equal to sum this means this is function call now control will go here right. Now, match the declaration and definition return type same sum nothing is going to pass. So, we are not going to write down any parameter to receive something here right. So, sum for sum also some memory has been allocated whenever you call this function. So, here we have a, b and sum, a, b and sum, in sum we have 0, whatever you are suppose I am uh, entering value 5 and 7. So, sum is equal to a plus b, in sum now we have 12 and now the control will reach here return sum. So, this 12 would be return where here, this would return 12. So, whatever it will return I have a variable to store that value. So, in sum now we have 12. So, simply print well right but see this return will return the sum value as well as it is going to return the control here so after this return if you write something here suppose i am writing printf and uh, inside sum function that also i want to print so it is not going to execute this line this code is what unreachable code why because as soon as the control will see the return statement it will return sum the value and the control the control will go here means now the control is here so <laughs> the program is not able to execute this line so you will not get this output means this line would not be printed on your output screen you will only get the output 12 so whatever you will write down after this return statement within this block before this curly braces closing of this curly braces that would be unreachable code right and here return sum you can also write down this uh, sum in braces maybe in some compiler if you do not write braces it will give error right uh, I, I can say so that is a good practice if you write down this in curly braces because see or or if you do not want to write down this line you want to you know get rid of this line so simply you do not have to write down this line and simply you can say return a plus b this will also return a plus b that is 12. So, we do not have now suppose sum, we have only a plus b. 
So in here we don't have sum. So a plus b directly it will return 5 plus uh, 7 is 12. So 12 it will return here. Once control will reach here, this would be vanished, right? Or if you write down like a uh, return, if you want to return sum, like sum is equal to a plus b, comma a. You want that these both should return. I mean, return should return sum also and a also. So now here, comma is operator, and the working of comma is what? Execute the first first operand, discard the value, and return the value of the next operand. So here it will return value of a. It will not return sum. Here value of a is what five. So it will return five. So five would be printed here. This I'll show you practical, practically also. Right. Here I am returning only sum. So I hope you got the difference, I mean uh, this category of the function with no argument with return type. And if you wrote not, do not write down here void means if you will pass here some argument like here I am passing 5 and 4, then it will not give error. But logically means we want obviously this, this should give error because I do not want to pass any argument, no argument. But here you are passing argument, so it should give error but it will not give error. So better to write down here no argument. So better to write down here void just to you know, guarantee that if you write down now, if you write down, if you pass any argument, now it will give error, right? So let me show you practical of this program. So let me create a file. We are discussing what? No argument and with return type, right? Here I am taking with return type, I am taking int sum. No arguments means I am writing here word. This is just a, uh, just a declaration and here in the main, I want to call that function that is sum. So now here, whatever it will return that I want to store in a variable s. So first before using this s, obviously we have to declare first like int s and now we are printing, we have to print what sum equal to this s also we have to print. So now what define int sum, no argument, simply here only I am taking int a, suppose here only I am taking value 5 uh, comma b is equal to 7, right. And uh, what simply you can write down here or rather than writing this R E T U R and return A plus B. That is it, directly it will return 12. You can also ask from the user like printf, enter A, B, A value of A and B and scan F A and B. You can do that thing also. So here see sum is equal to 12. It is returning A plus B that is 12. So here now 12 would be stored in S and S I am printing, right. So here Suppose here I am writing sum is equal to a plus b. Now rather than a plus b, you can return sum. But you cannot use sum here because you are not declaring that variable. So first of all you have to declare sum is equal to suppose 0, right. Now let us see what happens. It will also give you sum is equal to 12. So now if you write down, after return statement, if you print, if you write down something like printf, I want to print high. So this printf would not get executed. Why? Because it is after return. See, simply it is printing sum is equal to 12. You are not getting any output like high because this code is unreachable code. After return statement, if you write anything, that would be unreachable here. So uh, we cannot write down here. And here same thing if you want to do like comma a comma b. So in this case, what value it will return? B whatever the value of b that is 7. So sum is equal to 7 you will get because the functionality of comma is what? This first comma is what? Execute the first, evaluate the first operand, discard the value and return the next. It will return a but here we have another comma. So for this comma operator a is what? Left operand. So execute the left expression or the operand, discard the value and return the right one. And right is b. So whatever the value in b that it will return, right? And if b, after b also if you do comma 
sum. Now it will return sum that is 12. So, now you will get sum is equal to 12 because now for this comma b is left and sum is right. So, it will return the right. So, so the comma operator I have discussed in detail. So, you can watch out the previous videos right of C programming the list uh, the playlist link I will put in the description box of this video. So, uh, I guess if now here if you do not write down here void. So, here if you pass any argument like uh, 4 comma 6 it will not give any error and still it will give some is equal to 12. Obviously, because 4 and 6 you are passing, but here you do not have any parameter to accept those argument right. So, better to write down here what void in the declaration to get rid of the situation. Now, now if you will run this it will give error. So, now here see it is giving error too many argument in function call here only you can see without running. So, we cannot write down here or uh, you can you can also return a character so, like uh, suppose I am writing here care or suppose I am writing here float that is also fine. You can return float type I want to return the sum should be float type. So, here also it should be float right and in main also we have a variable of float type because it is going to return float value sum is equal to this and sum is equal to now percentage f s and return sum. So, here also you can take float uh, variables like float uh, 5.7, 5. Uh, you know 1 or 7.1 like this. If you do not take float you do not you will take int then also it will print float because here we are writing percentage f see what it will print 12.0000 like 6 zeros it will print ok. Let me run this now see 12.000 float value or if you write down here char uh, like, like uh, I want to return it should return some character value. So, in declaration also it should be data type should be char otherwise it is going to give some error right and here before this return r e t u r and return I want to return uh, now this a character is a. So, now this return statement is first. So, now return sum this is what unreachable code. So, it is not going to execute that that thing. So, it will return now a. So, here also function name is sum I am not changing the function name you can change the function name also right. It just to get you understand the functioning of the all the data type like int float or char. Obviously, sum is a function name it is not going to return char because you are going to do sum of two numbers. But here I am not changing the function name. So, this sum function is returning character value. So, here also s should be of char type because whatever it will return we are going to store that thing in s. Now, s you are printing so that should be percentage c you have to use percentage c and s. So, now what output you will get think c you will get a c sum is equal to a because here we are returning return a the character right or here also that program I have al already discussed like printf, enter a character, scanf you can ask from the user whatever character the user will, will uh, you know enter that it will return, return that character right. That we have discussed in the one of the previous videos you can watch out that video also right. And so, one example one, one question for you is I am going to return here comma 0 and here comma 1. I am writing this return statement this is the program for you right. So, now you have to tell me what output you will get here fine. So, in the next video we will see the next category of function that is with argument without return time. So, now I will see in the next video till then bye bye take care.